Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of the Game Feed. My name is Panzer Six, and today we're we'll gonna be talking about Gears of War, and why not? Um, the last couple of weeks, I've been producing a lot of stuff uh, talking about the Xbox, Xbox One, and I kind of want to continue this um, since we have Gears of Wars coming out, the Ultimate Edition is coming out, I think it's next week or the week after next, and uh, I kind of want to talk about the legacy of that and what that series means to me, and uh, I promise here in a few weeks, um, probably most likely after the Nathan Drake collection comes out for PS4, I'll be doing a total couple weeks dedicated to PlayStation and Sony, so don't worry, I'm not picking sides, uh, though I do like my Xbox a little bit more than my PlayStation, but I've always been that way, but I promise you guys it's not going to be one of those, uh, uh, everybody's going to have their equal share of um, <laughs> coverage, but anyways, let's talk about Gears of War. Uh, Gears of War, I got to see Gears, the first Gears of War about, um, it was about 2004. 2006, um, I remember when I think I was originally being developed for um, the first Xbox, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I'm pretty sure it was, but um, they needed a new uh, thing for the Xbox 360 because Xbox was already known for Halo and um, Xbox 360 needed another uh, IP. And that's where Epic Games came in and they had the idea, which was supposed to be originally an Unreal Tournament title, which was so far different um, than any Unreal Tournament title. Um, they ended up making its own IP and created a story mode. And that's what we know today as Gears of War. And um, now I remember getting this game. Uh, I, I was anticipating it for like three years straight. Um Devoured every single bit of coverage it came out for, either from Game Informer, um, you know, IGN, game trailers, you name it. I was all about it. I was, like, hyped up for this game because I'd never seen anything like that. I didn't know consoles that would be able to live up to the hype with the, the graphics and the gameplay. I was excited about the Chainsaw Lancer, um, just the graphics, the roadie run, and... I was just excited for it, just genuinely uh, excited to play this game. And I never wanted to play a game like that since, you know, prior to that was Halo. And that's why, you know, Xbox is defined as Gears, Halo, Forza, Fable. Those, that's the titles that um, Xbox is known for. And Gears of War struck a chord for me right off the bat. And I remember it was funny because... Um, my first Xbox 360, I won it through a Mountain Dew promotion. It was like every 10 seconds or every 10 minutes promotion. And I got it, it was the day before it launched. Uh, I was already playing Perfect Dark Zero and Condemned Criminal Origins and Cameo. And uh, I already had Gears of War was pre-ordered like almost a year in advance. And it kept on getting pushed back, I believe. And... Uh, I forget what movie it was I was watching. I was thinking it was um, possibly, oh man, what movie, there was a movie uh, that played the trailer for it. I was thinking it was Sin City maybe, it might have been something else, but you got to see the trailer, it's a theatrical trailer, and it, it was playing Gary Jules' Mad World um, with Gears of War footage, and it was insanely awesome, and I never heard of Gary Jules prior to that, and um, I started listening to Tears for Fears, or Fears for Tears, whatever the names are, uh, shortly after, and, you know, I watched that trailer like 10 or 11 times a week, probably, and I used to work at this little place called the Task Lab, it's a higher university thing, and my friends got tired of me watching this trailer, and finally, like... A week before the game came out, you start seeing the reviews that's getting nines, tens, nine point fives, um, all over the board, and it just got me even more hyped. So I was like one of the first people in line at my local GameStop to get this game, and it's a really good, it's a good series. Uh, I love it. Um, same goes with Gears Two and Three. Um, every game has their moments. Like the first one. It feels a whole lot different than the other ones because it has a horror element. 
Uh, I remember seeing the Berserker for the first time, and it flipped me out because um, I've never seen something like that since Nemesis. It's coming at you no matter what. And the only thing you could do is just, you know, find a big weapon and kill the damn thing, which uh, was the Hammer of Dawn that killed that. Um, the second game, my favorite thing about it was when we got into the big giant worm that tries to, was trying to sink Jacinto, and you go in through it and take out its three hearts, and um, it's, it's a blast. And, you know, it's a little bit spoilerly, but... Um, you know, number three had its moment where, you know, we're all playing, uh, I have like four people, we're all playing um, co-op, and uh, shoot, was when Dom like crashed a truck into the uh, oil tanker and made it explode, I was like, oh my god, and you know, these games aren't like masterful stories, they're not extremely intelligent, they're just interesting, the characters are interesting, um, they're just fun to play with, and um, I know it's kind of hard to get used to. I, I couldn't see myself being like a Marcus Phoenix or anybody like that. They're, I mean, they're just like these hardcore Rambo stereotype characters, but they're just interesting. The whole story is interesting. Just the fact that, you know, you have this alien race that's lived under you for all these years, and they finally come out and just, you know, kill everything. And um, I don't know. It's good. The graphics are great. The horde mode's great. Um even Judgment's a good game by its own merits. It's a little more arcadey than the other games, but it's still a good game. And you start like it's it's a good thing because once the Gears came out, you start seeing all these other games taking, you know, ideas from it. And Gears it took ideas from other games. I think Gears had this idea for the cover system from a game called Kill Switch. It came out for the original Xbox and PlayStation. And Resident Evil 4 was an influence, you could tell. Um, but Resident Evil 4 and Gears of War were these really defining games for, you know, the Xbox 360 and PS3 generations. They're the games that, you know, people copied these, their mechanics, and uh, the mechanics are still good. Some of them are kind of mad. You get tired, kind of tired of the cover shooter, which, that was a big thing. Every game that came out had a cover mechanic. And I think um, it's a good good thing because, you know, we have Gears of War 4 coming out. That's going to be good. And you get to relive Gears of War th 1 for a next-gen uh, next engine for the first time. And I, I recommend you play it. If you've not played Gears of War 4 uh, before, Definitely check it out. It's worth looking into. Um, and plus, if you buy it, you get access to the original trilogy as well as Judgment. So that's something to actually... You get that whole collection. It's not an HD remaster for the other games, but you still get access to those games. So um, that's the only time I'm saying... I mean, there might be other times it's worth pre-ordering a game. And I think this is a good, good deal. Forty dollars or sixty dollars, whatever you, whatever one you buy. I'm not huge in multiplayer, so I did the forty dollar package. That's fine for me because it has what I want. It's got the story mode and it's got the multiplayer, but I don't need all these skins. I don't need that. Uh, but I get Gears of War, the original Gears, and two, three, and four in Judgment um, once they come to backwards compatibility. So I mean that's a great deal right there, but. Um, if you guys like Gears of War, let me know in the comments. And I'm sorry, uh, this is late. I wanted to get this out, and some, you know, it's little, not really well worded as late like I planned. But like I said, I like to try to keep it um, casual for you guys. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I definitely appreciate it. And next time you'll get to see my face. Today you're not seeing my face because, um, yeah, reasons. <laughs> But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And have a nice, wonderful, awesome, insanely great evening.